Hello everyone, welcome to um, Disney Sisters Knitting Podcast. There's only me here today. I've got a bit of a yarn haul to share with you. I purchased yarn from four different places, um, all with a project in mind. And uh, I just wanted to um, share with you. Um, we've got Lovecrafts, Black Sheep Wools, botanical yarn and blue fern yarn as well so let's get to it shall we so i think in the last video i was talking about, went with our june june's working at the moment so unfortunately she can't join me today so i showed you this sweater well it's a cardigan actually which is something that i want to to make and it's sport weight so i am um, you know that I'm using a uh, Debbie Bliss's yarn and I bought this from Lovecrafts because I had 20% off I think and um, my favourite colour combination is blue and brown and I bought Dob Debbie Bliss's Baby Cash Merino which is a sport weight it's 55% uh, wool 33% acrylic and 12% um, cashmere 125 meters which is 50 grams so so soft i'm using this yarn on the autumn alpine when i'm doing in navy blue and lilac and then to go for the flowers this is called chocolate i know it looks so that's chocolate and this is lagoon i wanted a, a deep a deep blue so it would pop against the, the chocolate brown and I think they will really look nice in that cardigan. Um, it's by Savory Knitting. I will put the link to the yarn and to the pattern below. Um, so then um, I ordered Blue Fern yarn. I ordered their um, November sock. And this is it. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the there's flex in it and I love the colours, absolutely. There's teals and rusts and cream. and It's just a beautiful, very, very soft, very squishy. You can see the squish back there. Um, it's called Sweater Weather Classic Sock, 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, 425 metres. And this is by from Blue, Blue Fin Yarns. And then I saw this, and this is, oh, I'm not sure which one is which now, because they're both sock. This might be the carom, I think this might be the sock. I'll put it in the link, I'll put it in the description box below, but I really like that, really like that. That'll be a really nice sock, that, because um, one of my goals for next year is to do at least half a dozen pair of socks with motifs on so yeah so i really like that i think this is the november i haven't got me um i haven't got me paperwork anyway they're both both from blue fin um this is called caramel apple cake and it's 250 grams 212 meters 75% superwash merino and nylon but I really like that colour really do and the specks on that just reminds me of a caramel apple uh, apple cake really nice so they're the yarn that I bought from Blue Fin and then this package has just come today I've been waiting for this package to come should have got here yesterday but for some reason it didn't arrive so it's arrived today sorry about the crinkle guys it's from botanical yarns lovely sophie and wrapped up really nice and she's been doing a lot of stock yarn stock fits lately and uh, i just love them sorry about the crinkle i shut up we have got 
Um, I know they've got yarn fest. The Yorkshire yarn fest is on this weekend. Unfortunately, this year I can't make it, but I definitely, definitely want to make it next make it next year. And I'm hoping to get to Botanical Yarns Open Studio um, sometime this this year, if not next. So that's Botanical Yarn. So I'm going to keep that. I need that. Um, and I bought, I've been eyeing these sock sets up for a while. This is Kate Palooza and this was when she went to America and was a vendor at Kate Palooza. Um, so there's that one. I really like them because these will be nice for colour work. So I'm going to be doing colour work socks next year. So there's that and I think that is gorgeous, really soft. And I've got a little, little cupcake, clear, one of Claire's stitch markers. And then the other one, I could not not get this one. Because it's got the neps in it, and the neo neps. And this is called Autumn Hellebore Orientalis. And it's a sock set. And that will look lovely and as you can see there's a little toadstool isn't that just lovely and then I got a couple of Halloween stitch markers stitch stoppers not stitch markers they're needle toppers so yeah so thank you so that is um so let's see, will, will this be a good, um, do that, I don't know, but there, that's the yarn, I really do like um, Sophie's sock yarn, it's lovely. Um, so anyway, so on Sundays, oh, June and I, we go to the Knit and Natter at Black Sheep Wools every Sunday, unless we're at a shed. And on Sunday we went and I saw this yarn. And I just had to, it, the, the knot colours that I would necessarily pick to work with. But I saw this yarn, it is a Nipro Symphony. And you know what, I love the Symphony, Nipro Symphony needles. And it just seemed appropriate. They had lots of lovely colours, lush colours. But I thought uh, this one just really sang to me. So I got two I think this is going to be a um, <clears throat> a summer tea for next year. It is Symphony Yarns. It's made in India. This is called Beach House, which I think is totally appropriate. Um, it's 75% superwash merino, 25% polyamide, 415 yards, 380 metres, and it's 100 gram, and it's fingering weight four ply so that is going to make a nice tea i've not decided what tea i don't know whether i'm going to knit with it or crochet it. I, i'm not decided but that is definitely going to be a summer tea for next year and then they had hold on i picked the wrong two boots just bear with me one minute sorry about that so Near the till, they had um, Rowan and June and I are really into our Rowan books. We've already got two of them. We've got the two two new ones, and then, but they they had the old ones, and in one of the ones that they had, you got they were four ninety nine each or three for ten. So the book that June found had a sweater, which we it's a cardigan that we saw at Black Sheep Wool's retreat. And um, anyway, she bought that book um, and I got um, the Platinum Edition number 70. And then I got number 69. This is 69, yeah. So this is Knitting and Crochet mag Magazine. And um, look at that sweater on the back, isn't it just gorgeous? So I'll just show you a few, a few. So they've got 
the sweater there that's another one that could be and they've got this um, cowl which is nice and oh look at this colour work and I like um, I like Rowan um, patterns because they not only have models that are kind of slender you know kind of more my my size but they have for the um um the um voluptuous you know the fluffy ladies like our june and so i i like that the uh, the, the models are you know the the use models that you know to show the knitwear for the bigger ladies you know because we're not all size sixes are we i mean i'm not a six by any means, I don't think I've ever been a size six. Um, I mean, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And doesn't the model really suit them? So it's really nice to see that they are size inclusive because there's nothing worse than finding a pattern and falling in love with it and you're realising that, sorry, it doesn't, doesn't fit. But there's some lovely, I like this one. This one's nice. So we both choose one each and then we picked another one and this one is the magazine number 69 as I said it's got that lovely pattern on the back which I so let me see if I can show you some of them some 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 let's see I mean you get a good glimpse into the patterns Maybe I'm wrong showing you the book, but I think that's very 50s style where the dads always wore cardigans. I don't think my dad... No. Now I like this, I like this sweater and it's unusual because it's got buttons up the back, which I think is, which I think is just, um, just an added feature. I'm not sure. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is Madeleine. And there's some really nice ones in this magazine. I'm just not going to show you them all. I like this one too. Isn't it gorgeous? So there's, I've got, we've got plenty of them. I like this one as well. This is nice. So we've got plenty of patterns to be going on with. So yeah, so which is your favourite? Do you like the uh, Symphon Symphony Terror or do you like Botanical Yarns? I'll just hold them like that. Or do you like Bluefin and Lovecraft's Debbie Bisses? So this is Debbie Bliss, this is Blue Fern Yarns. So which is your favourite? I like them all. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Welcome as well to all our new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. Um, June is working today, which is why she's not here joining me. And um, we hope you all take care, stay safe, but more importantly, guys, be kind to you. And we both will see you in the next video. Bye for now.